we're going to go ahead and do the suprapubic view of the FAST exam. We're going to put a little trans, uh, gel on this transducer, and we're going to go just above the symphysis pubis, and we're going to start initially sagittally, and then we're going to scan transversely. So we have our marker right here. That's going to be aiming toward the patient's head, and we're going to put this transducer just above the symphysis pubis, and we're going to see the bladder. And we can see a pretty large bladder here. First thing I'll take a look at when I see the image is that we need to adjust our depth. So I'm changing the depth here to make this bladder into a better size that it's going to fit better within the image. The next thing I notice that I do need to adjust is the gain. This is a very important knob to be adjusting because in this view particularly, you can have a lot of acoustic enhancement posture to the bladder, and we don't want to miss small amounts of fluid. So the far gain, which is this knob here, may need to be adjusted additionally. So what you, once you identify the bladder, which we see as an anechoic structure with uh, nice circumscribed walls, you want to then scan from left to right, looking particularly for evidence of fluid outside of that circumscribed bladder. So we're looking for free fluid within the pelvis. And once we're satisfied that we can see the full bladder in a sagittal fashion, we're then going to turn the transducer marker here toward the patient's right, and we're going to scan again. So now we're in a transverse view, and we're scanning from very inferiorly to superiorly. And again, looking for free fluid outside of the bladder. So as you're scanning through the bladder, again, you're looking for free fluid. Remember, free fluid is anechoic or black on ultrasound, so that's what you're going to be looking for outside of the bladder.